Okay, I think this is recording. I don't know, I can't. Here I am. I'm just going to put my little face down here. Screencast-O-Matic like updated their thing and it's not the way it used to be. Anyways, I want to take a minute and show you guys how to create a um, newsletter using MailChimp. It is so incredibly easy. So the first thing you have to do, this is kind of the, the thing that I've already done um, behind the scenes, is go into your Sensi workstation and pull up your contacts, right? And you're going to want to make sure that the email is there in your contacts. You literally have to do nothing to your contact list. Pull up your contacts and then there's a little button that says export to Excel. Do that. Export to Excel. Then you come here to MailChimp and you can actually import your contacts, right? And just import them as is. That's all you have to do. Import their email. It's so incredibly easy. After you have your contacts imported, literally five minute job, if that, okay? You don't have to merge. Um, MailChimp does not send duplicates. So if you have like four of the same email addresses, it's only going to send one. So don't worry about merging or any of that. Go to create campaign. Okay, and I don't know how to make my face smaller over here, but anyways, um, I always click create an email, okay? And then this is going to be your campaign name. So this is just going to be a demo for me because I've already sent mine, but a demo campaign. That way um, everyone can just kind of see how to do this. Click begin, and then um, the things that pop up will ask you, who are you going to send this to? And again, my face. I don't know if my face is big on your screen, but it's like extremely big. I'm just going to move it over here. You don't really need to see me. Um, add recipients. And so I already have a list. I have my team in here, but then I also have my contacts in here. So I'm going to send this to my contacts and we're going to send it to all subscribers on the list. The thing that you can do is you can um, pre-build some lists in there if you want to kind of note particular people, like people who have bought from you in the past 30 days, people who have bought from you um, in the past year, people who haven't bought from you in the past year, you can go through and kind of tag those as you create those lists. So I think that is a really cool thing that you can do in here. But for our purposes today, we're just going to send it to everybody just as a, as a demo. Um, and from You'll just put your own information here, whatever you want, right? If you wanted to say the Sensi Girl or whatever, you put that there, whatever email address you wanted to send from, right there. And then your subject. So the subject, again, this is just what's going to pop up in their email box. I'm just going to put demo here. I'm not actually going to send this email out. That would be awful because um, I just sent one yesterday. But that's how you do it. Then the preview text. This is like the little blurb that shows up after or right underneath of the subject line. So maybe check this out or maybe you want to say, um, you know, free sample giveaway, something like that, right? Uh, it depends on what you're trying trying to accomplish with, with your email, right? And then your content. So in the content, and again, my face is in the way. <laughs> you design the email here. And this is where it gets kind of fun and you can be creative or you can just use what they already have pre-built for you. So I like to use ones with pictures. So I usually pick like this one or this one to use. So let's go ahead and just choose this one. Again, I like the whole purpose for me um, of doing this over what our workstation says is it can be a lot more visual. So this will come up. And so now you can literally put anything you want in here. So this is going to be like the header of your email, kind of like a um, what's what's at the very top. And so I'm going to put an image. I already have some images that I've uploaded in here. Um, I just wish my face would go away. It just would make this easier. Um, I just I usually just put my little banner up there. And so I'll click import. And so that's going to be at the top. Then you go to the next little block. It's literally drag and drop. So I double clicked on that. And then this is this is the body of your email, right? And you want to keep things, I personally like to keep things super short and sweet. So I use bullets. Um, I'll just use like little bullets. Uh, this is awesome, you know, uh, whatever, right? All the different things. I bullet it out because I like to keep things simple, right? Whatever you want to say there, say it um, and then save it, right? And then you can come down here and you click on the little images. Again, if you don't want this here, you decide you, know, you only want to delete it, right? Delete that. 
Now I only want, you know, this image here, right? And, and even this little button, you can delete that button. Boom. You don't have to have a buy, buy now, but you can have this. Again, browse your images. Maybe I want to put the discontinued products there, right? And then maybe I want to change this button to, um, or change this so that it doesn't say product name $49.99, but um, get these before they're gone, right? And then you come down, well, you always have to save it. Then you come down to this button, and maybe you don't want it to have buy now, or maybe you do want to have buy now, and then you put your web address there. And this will automatically take them to your, your PWS, right? So buy now, boom, they're going to click that. It's going to go to their PWS. Here, you, maybe you want another image. Maybe you want an image of fundraisers, right? Maybe you want to market fundraisers. And then um, I make fundraisers fun and easy, right? Whatever. And then save that. And here, click here. And let's um, ask me how, right? And then you can put your um, PWS here and it will link. Or you can put your email address here so they can just, um, oops, that's at gmail.com, right? You can put that there. That way it goes right to your email box. You can edit these little buttons down here. If you have a Twitter, you can put a Twitter in there. You don't. If you have an Instagram, you can add your Instagram in here. Uh, you want to put your Facebook, you just put your, your Facebook link here, right? You copy and paste it. It's so easy. Your website, boom. Right? It's going to save all of that. As you're getting everything set up initially, it will fill all of this bottom stuff in, or you can just delete it. Right? You don't have to have all that mailing address stuff in there. Um, you want to say maybe you don't want, uh, maybe, maybe you want to have a, um, another body of text over here. So you just grab, oops, grab this body of text and, and drag it. Right? It's literally, oops, why is it not working? There we go. Drag and drop. It's literally drag and drop. More text here. Right? Whatever you want to do. Maybe you want another image. Boom. Right? And you can put something else here. And so it allows you to, there we go, allows you to um, customize literally everything. So when you're done, you save it all. Oh, it's telling me that that's too big. Okay, so it has to be 600 by 800. You click let's fix it. It's so easy. Because then all you do is you say, okay, then just make it 600 by 600, whatever, right? And so that's resized, and you don't have to worry about editing your images. Okay, so we save and close that, and literally save and close. And then it allows you to actually, now, because I sent my email out yesterday, it's probably not going to let me go much further. But it will allow you to um, see your draft. And I'm just not seeing where it says that, probably because I have that little issue there. Um, yeah, because of this, I have to resolve this. So maybe I'll just um, new subscribers. Okay, that way I can that way I can show you. Oh man, this is not going to make it easy for me. Come on, I just wanted to show people how to make a silly thing. Anyways, I hope you get the point. You can once you once you run through it like that, you'll actually be able to go in. I'll bring my face back over. You'll actually be able to go in and preview it, so you can see exactly what it will look like on mobile. You can see exactly what it will look like on a desktop, um, and it actually has a link where you can actually copy and paste it and share it. Um, like I shared mine with my team, um, and they asked me to make this quick video, so that's why I did that. Um, they also will allow you to, um, you know, post it to social media if you want. Be careful if you do that, though, because you can share personal specials here in an email, but you can't share personal specials on Facebook. So if you're sharing all of this in Facebook world, make sure you don't have any personal specials in your, um, your email.